Hello everyone, this is Reverend Kyle with uh, the latest video in my tutorial series. Uh, this one discusses the uh, very new and very controversial Sensei Bell uh, official Froyo ROM release for the XT720. Uh, this is a groundbreaking uh, release since the provider, not the manufacturer, released this. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I installed it on my phone first of all. Um, the current build, which is actually the one we're going to look at, uh, I'm going to uh, reflash from the very beginning to show you how I've done it. What I've done is I've taken the uh, Sensei Bell package that they've uh, provided us and I have stripped it of its uh, ROM file essentially. So inside that mess of files that they give you in utilities is a file called cbw.zip. Uh, the cbw zip file, I've actually uh, put a link to that file alone in my description so that uh, that'll be available for you to download. So what I've done is I've taken that file and used the uh, normal uh, open recovery uh, that we've done in the past in my other videos. If you have no idea what this is, then chances are you uh, haven't watched my previous videos and shame on you, go back and watch them first. All right, so what I'm going, what I'm going to do here is go down to Nandroid like I have done in my other ones and do a restore and uh, from that restore you'll notice I have three uh, individual ROMs here. I have the Galaxy uh, XTV4 which is still uh, in my opinion is, is one of the better ROMs. Uh, the SC 2.2, th this is a, uh, a new one that just got released recently uh, in his uh, a Wanhu ROM which is actually based on uh, a different uh, original ROM than the Dexter, so we'll, we'll come back to that some other time, I think. So we go down to CBW, which is what you should see if you uh, put the zip file in the correct uh, area, and you do restore all. In my previous videos, I have uh, truncated the video at this point and cut all of this out. A uh, few of you expressed a level of concern as to how long it was taking to install on your machine, on your phone. So I'm not going to truncate this one. Instead, I'm going to use this load time to uh, address a few things. First of all, uh, I want to thank and commend Cincinnati Bell for releasing this. Um, it was not a requirement that you do so. And uh, I thank you, and I think that uh, a lot of the uh, Cincinnati Bell um, customers thank you as well for this. One big piece that I want everybody to contemplate is the fact that this exists at all and that it's official and it's being supported by the provider, Cincinnati Bell. Uh, there is some conjecture as to whether or not this build is based off of uh, anything else, uh, other open source publicly available projects. Uh, if that is the case, then good for Sensei Bell for recognizing the um, the knowledge and wisdom of the people from the XDA community and, and using that to everyone's advantage. Uh, I think that the similarities between this build and those of Dexter's are minute. Uh, others think that it is uh, almost plagiarized. Uh, I, I say shame on you. This is open source. There is no such thing as plagiarism. Uh, if you want credit where credit is due, then uh, Okay, I'll tell Sensei Bell to send a uh, card to Dexter in the mail. I'm not really sure what you're aiming for. Uh, the fact that now my mother and my grandmother and the guy next door who has no idea how to even turn his computer on, let alone flash a ROM, now has the ability to have the provider offer this upgrade. Uh, I don't see where the problem is. So let's get back to business here. Uh, now that we've flashed this, I'm going to go down and make sure that I wipe my Dalvik cache. And I always wipe my cache partition second. I don't know why, I just always do. And then wipe data and factory reset. Yes. Once that's done, we reboot. 
Okay, so real time. Uh, we're a little under five minutes here, and uh, we are now booting up for the first time the Sensei Bell Froyo official release. Um, there are some problems uh, with this build that are resident in the other uh, unofficial builds uh, from the XDA forums. Just like Dexter's and the other builds, the uh, FM radio volume control does not work. Uh, also, the media button uh, next to the camera shutter does not function. And in terms of the haptic feedback, uh, there is, um, well, there is no haptic feedback on the screen except for when you're using the keyboard. And uh, this is a feature that has never really been a favorite of mine. Uh, I'm just simply pointing out uh, the difference. Now, if you are not a frequent uh, reader of the XDA forums in terms of this phone, uh, I recommend you go and peruse through it. Uh, there is a bounty of knowledge available to you there, and a lot of your questions may be answered. Uh, not that I don't uh, appreciate the uh, the comments and, and the feedback and the, and the questions. Uh, I try to get back to all of you as quickly as I can. Uh, sometimes um, uh, there may be some of this information already available to you. Just a small point of note, uh, this, uh, this, this boot up screen doesn't actually fill up the whole screen. There's about uh, three millimeters on the top and bottom that don't uh, fill in. But once you get into the actual operating system, it looks fine. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's 6.36 a.m. No, that's not correct. It's not 6.36 a.m. Oh, there we go. It's 5.36 p.m. on Saturday, July 2nd. Okay. So it's uh, toying with the idea of giving me my uh, HSPA. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and go in here. And we'll skip this for right now. And uh, I'm going to sign in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the video here while I sign in to my uh, credentials. We'll let Google snoop on me. And I don't really care if it backs up my Google account. And we finish setup. And we will start up the uh, launcher for the first time. Here we go. Okay, now, this launcher looks very similar to other launcher uh, from the 2.1. As a matter of fact, it's almost identical. Here's the drag up box. Uh, you'll notice the uh, apps are still populating here. Uh, just as a, a simple point of note, I usually recommend to everybody after you uh, flash a new ROM, don't go digging into it right away. Give it some time to settle, please. Uh, just like any other operating system or your computer at home, it does take some time for everything to uh, load up and settle. And you'll also notice that we have the um, the synchronization from my Gmail kicking right now. And while that's going, we are going to go and pay attention to some other things here. So first of all, we'll go into the settings. And we'll notice that this is the new Froyo. Um, menu for the settings and we'll go into about phone and we'll just take a look at some of the basics here so yes XT720 2.2.1 uh, indicating that it is uh, Froyo um, firmware baseband all that is the same uh, the kernel version is 2.6.29 which um, 2.6.29 is the kernel version that is used in most eclair builds uh, some unfortunately uh, some froyo builds including this one and all of the ones on the xda forum all use the 2.6.29 kernel uh, the kernel can't be changed unless we get the uh, uh, <laughs> the bootloader unlocked uh, hint 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 uh, Motorola uh, if you would uh, kindly do that for us so we can get on about our business anyway uh, the kernel version uh, number below actually indicates the uh, age of it uh, some of my um, form mates 
mates have uh, identified that this is actually an older older kernel and uh, this may indicate uh, why this is such a stable uh, version of uh, Froyo for our phone. This seems to be really actually very smooth. So we're going to take a look here and just take a look uh, a couple things. Uh, music uh, I don't believe that I have any music on here, so, okay, well, I'm going to see some silly things. Not really mine. Okay. And uh, let's go into the browser. One thing I noticed about this, and I'm, I'm imagining that other people also recognize this, uh, it goes immediately to a uh, wap.gocbw.com. This page never loads. Uh, I waited for 20 minutes the other day in the car. It never loads. So what we're just going to do is we're going to search the web for Google. Now, all of you probably know that searching for Google within the Google search bar actually breaks the Internet. So uh, uh, if you all went down there temporarily, I apologize. Here is the new Google launch page uh, whatever that's fine just kind of showing the interface here or whatever let's see Shia LaBeouf or Gwyneth Paltrow we'll go with Gwyneth Paltrow and there she is and do we have the oh view full size here? Let's nope, I did there we go. Okay, so can we okay, everything oh, everything appears good. Alright, so we'll go home and turn a couple other things on. Messaging and we'll start up Gmail. Okay. And we'll start up calendar. Okay. So in terms of the home screen, I know uh, several of you have uh, made comment that uh, this is still the old uh, interface, the old launcher. Uh, I recommend going out to the market and, and getting a, a different launcher if uh, you're not happy with this one. Um, I personally like to use uh, ADW launcher uh, EX. Uh, I purchased that. Uh, it was the best three dollars uh, I could have paid in terms of uh, launcher interface. It's very customizable. You can make it look however you like. Uh, ADW Launcher also has a uh, free version of it. Uh, while I'm here in the market, I'm actually going to go and download the uh, speed test. And I'm also uh, going to download Quadrant. And we'll throw a couple tests on here just to see what we get. Uh, just straight out of the box. Obviously, there hasn't been any uh, manipulation. I haven't done any overclocking. I haven't done any um, uh, tweaking at all. This is literally right out of the box. So we'll just do a speed test real quick first and uh, see in terms of uh, uh, speed and whatnot. So that's fine. Uh, let's go see. Uh, I do believe Quadrant has installed now. Let's go take a look here. And uh, we'll just take a look real quick first at the uh, system information just to kind of prove my point. 720 megahertz. Again, uh, I recommend uh, b pumping that up to a uh, overclocking that a bit. Okay, we'll go back to and run the test. See what we So, uh, what is that? Uh, 894, not bad. Uh, last time I ran it, I got like 930 something. And so, right out of the box, that's not a bad score. There's no tweaks uh, going on yet. Uh, I've gotten this up to 1300 with all the tweaks. So, that's about where we stand here. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to show you right now. If you have any requests or whatnot, don't, uh, don't hesitate to send them. 
Um, I'll do some more videos later after I tweak it and uh, possibly touch on uh, a couple of the other new ROMs out there. So, um, again, I want to thank Sensei Bell and uh, for this official, fully supported by Sensei Bell for your release. And uh, this is Reverend Kyle signing off.